Hello everybody, welcome on in. I've got a video for you guys today playing some Fire Staff with Flamethrower. I was doing some duels with my friend and he was absolutely destroying me and he had Flamethrower on his Fire Staff and I thought, man, I need to try this in PvP. Flamethrower has had quite a few buffs since the launch of this game and uh, yeah, needless to say, this skill I think is way better than it used to be and I really should have given it a try sooner. So without further ado, I've got some footage for you guys showing off a little bit of 1vx gameplay with that beautiful new flamethrower skill. So let's get right into that PvP commentary and uh, right off the bat you can see I'm applying a lot of pressure to this guy with the fire staff and he's running spear and bow. The fire staff flamethrower being such a good option as he tries to run away you can see that it does backstab like a melee weapon would and it has a lot of range so that guy just eats a ton of damage not to mention the amount of burn that it applies. Very very good skill just pressure wise but I think flamethrower's biggest strength is just the fact that you can use it to zone out a melee opponent so well just due to that immense amount of pressure that it puts out. Um, this enemy bow player, he comes into the middle here to try to start fighting me. I right away just go for the flamethrower and just start peppering him up. Once he gets out of range, I'll toss the fireball down, throw a light attack with the fire staff, and then switch right back to the flamethrower. He swaps to his spear, and this is where you have to definitely watch your opponent if you're using flamethrower, and make sure that you don't bust out the flamethrower when they're too close to you, and they're going to use a uh, melee stun like that. Um, it takes about one second before you can roll out or cancel your flamethrower after you use it. And here you can see I roll away from the opponents before I activate the flamethrower. It allows me to have enough time to get that one second uh, kind of cooldown out of the way and I can easily dodge the incoming spear player's stun there. Again, rolled away from the players, go for the flamethrower and dodge the incoming stun from the spear players. And these guys here, they don't really know what to do against it. They're switching to their bow to try to stay out of the range of the flamethrower. And then whenever they try to close the gap in, they end up taking a ton of damage from it. And uh, there you can see I'm just going for a little bit of pressure on the player on the left. The other enemy player came in with his jump there. I maybe should have switched targets. Um, decide to now go for the uh, poke with the rapier. He's just out of range. That's one area where I'm really enjoying the flamethrowers being able to apply pressure where the rapier just doesn't have the range to do it. And uh, again, I go for the roll into the flamethrower. Unfortunately, that time I don't time his uh, incoming stun properly. I end up getting caught and I uh, just roll out of there. Go for a riposte. Managed to actually get the stun on the player behind. He's out of range of my heavy, but I just go for a very quick flesh through him, hit him with the uh, backstab poke, and then right away back up, go back to the fire staff and apply more pressure. Um, I find that the combination of bouncing between the fire staff rapier actually makes the rapier a lot more effective to use, especially with the flamethrower. You force them close into the range of your rapier or you push them away. And there you see a nice flesh to finish that guy off. Here comes the incoming ice shower. I get uh, trapped in it, but I managed to get the riposte in time. Quickly switch to the flame uh, staff and then burn out out of that. And then I right away go for pressure on top of the enemy ice mage that's coming here. He ends up just running around in circles. The ice mage is a fun fight to fight with flamethrower because they are always trying to trap you with their close range uh, ice shower, uh, immobilize and stuff like that. And there you can see I'm able to just kind of kite the player out, apply damage with flamethrower. And he's running in a weird pattern, kind of reflecting the fact that I'm kiting out um, his attack pattern there. And uh, he ends up running out there. I go for pressure on the enemy spear player a little bit. Uh, another Blunderblast player has come in as well. Um, the spear player goes for his stun. I roll away and right away go into the flamethrower. There you can see great chip damage on him. The burn as well. The spear guy taking a ton of pressure from the consistent flamethrower damage. And I switch to the rapier to try to stay on top of him. Again, flamethrower coming in so clutch. Just able to apply that pressure where rapier cannot reach him. And this guy throws the ice shower down as I back up and he just ends up, I don't know, looking at a menu or something, auto walking into a wall. I got this fight live on Twitch. If you guys want to catch some live stuff in the future, you can always follow me on Twitch. Give me a follow on Twitter if you want to keep up to date with me. And of course, we do the New World Top 5 battles. If you have any awesome clips that you want to send in for the Top 5, you can send that to Christopher at pvpnewworld.com. This show is sponsored by What The Fast. They're a VPN for gamers that can give you better ping to your favorite games, especially if you have bad ping to start. It's free to try for the first month. A link down below for you. And last but not least, a massive thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for supporting the show for all this time. I know I say it all the time, but without you, I wouldn't be able to do it. So thank you very much. Thank you everybody just for tuning in and watching. Again, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.